Welcome to African Dream Motivation. Stanley was born on December 28, 1922, in his parents' apartment. As a child, he was influenced so much by movies and books. This brought about his interest in writing. In his teens, he and his brother shared a bedroom as his father and mother slept on a fold-out couch. In his youth, even though he couldn't boast of wealth, he found delight in writing and it was one thing he enjoyed so much. He took part-time jobs such as writing obituaries, press releases for the National Tuberculosis Center, delivering sandwiches, ushering a theatre on Broadway, being an office boy for a trouser manufacturer, and many more. He was so hardworking and made sure he delivered his best at all times. At high school, he took part in a writing contest, which he won for three consecutive weeks. Afterward, the newspaper wrote to him, telling him to also allow others to win. They advised him to consider writing as a profession. With the help of his uncle, he landed on a job as an assistant at the timely comic division of Pulp Magazine and comic book publisher Martin Godman's company. As time went by, the company evolved into Marvel Comics. Even though this was a company that looked perfect for Stan Lee's writing career, he started from the bottom and worked his way up to the top. He did minor tasks such as getting lunch for the workers, doing proofreading, erasing pencils from finished pages, and several other tasks. On the third, he performed every single piece of task assigned to him with joy. After a long stay at the company, his creative significance was identified and he was privileged to create comic characters and superheroes for the company. This opportunity took him through the ranks and established him as a great talent who took the creativity unit of Marvel by surprise. He led the creation of fictional characters such as X-Men, Spider-Man, Hulk, Thor, Black Widow, Fantastic Four, Black Panther, Doctor Strange, Ant-Man, just to name a few. He became the great mind behind Marvel's success over the years and even featured in some of the best-selling movies just to honor his contribution to the film industry. He founded the Stanley Foundation which focused on supporting literacy, education, and arts. Coming from a low-income family, he focused on his career and worked hard to become one of the greatest minds in the movie industry. If he could do it, you also can. Never give up. Thanks for watching this video to the end. Let me know what you think in the comment section. If you are new here, don't forget to subscribe and click on the notification bell. Also, share this video with anyone you believe will love it as you did. Thanks again. See you in our next video. Until then, have a nice day.